Hey guys! Uh, so I wanted to do a video, but uh, Andrew didn't work until 1 today, and I took him to work. And I had some things to do, so I wanted to put makeup on before I left. <laughs> and um, the first one I had done one at, eye at a time because I was going to do a tutorial for it, but it ended up being hideous. So I took it off and then I figured I was going to have one of those awful makeup days where nothing you do comes out how you wanted it to. So um, yeah, so I didn't make a video and now I'm kicking myself because I really like the look I did. So I will have to do that one this weekend. Not tomorrow or the next day, I don't think. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Andrew's weekend this week is Thursday and Friday, so he'll be home. So I don't know if we'll be doing something and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just yammering. So aside from that, I guess I've gotten some new things lately and some other things that I don't think I've talked about on here or whatever that I wanted to tell you that I'm liking and some things that I don't like and don't want you to waste your money on so I thought that I would share that I'm shaking the desk first thing are the things I don't want you to waste your money on however in most stores right now they have a like a mail-in rebate form on them so you can get it for free and it's these shampoos and conditioners I got a shampoo and a conditioner so I would be taking these back to the store if I wasn't getting my money back anyway so the shampoo is not horrible I got the smoothing mango steam yogurt one but which you'd think that it would leave your hair like super soft or something but it doesn't you'll notice when you're washing your hair once you rinse it it leaves your hair like extremely extremely squeaky like it's the squeakiest my hair has ever been it's really weird um it smells great though oh it smells really good if if the smell wasn't so wonderful i would just be chucking this it's that bad and the conditioner is even worse and I dropped it right after I got it and broke it so whenever I squeeze it out not only does it come out of the top but it squeezes out of the side too so it gets everywhere and the conditioner I got is nutritional acai berry and guava it's a pink one there's a red one too that's pomegranate and something else um, and I had checked Makeup Alley before I bought these and the reviews weren't very good most of them said that it left their hair feeling like straw but I was like oh maybe it'll work for me so I bought it anyway because I was enticed by the cute packaging and by the smell they all smell incredible the conditioner is the worst conditioner I've ever used in my life seriously the worst absolute crap it leaves your hair looking and feeling like you had just like left bleach on it for two hours my ends and yes I still have some damage from bleaching my hair a year ago on the ends of my hair but you can tell now I used a different conditioner and it's smooth it doesn't look frayed it looks pretty healthy it feels healthy after I used this conditioner my ends were just sticking all over the place I couldn't get my fingers through the ends of my hair. The cuticle, like, felt rough. Like, bad. Really, really bad. And, like, the next... It felt okay after I flat ironed my hair. But the next morning, it was nappy again. So I ended up having to put... What did I put in it? I think I just put Red Ken Anti-Snap. I put a whole bunch of that in the ends and it made it feel a lot better. Still, it wasn't as smooth and soft as it normally is. So, yeah. So, um, 
I did use this the last time I washed my hair, so the night before last, and it was okay. But then I used some deep conditioner, and then after I put a little bit of this on just so that my hair would smell like this. And that was okay, but like, pretty much this is going to be used for shaving my legs because I'm not letting it ravage my fucking hair. Sorry. Um, yeah, so those are the two things that I'm not really liking, but again, like, they smell really great. So I had to buy another conditioner, so today I picked up the L'Oreal Ever Pure, the sulfate-free, 100% vegan, not tested on animals, moisture conditioner, I think this is the one for color-treated hair. Yeah. I already have the shampoo, I haven't tried this conditioner yet, but I love the shampoo, so... I am assuming that I will love the conditioner as well. Um, I think that I had the shampoo in a video when I first got it, but just to recap, if you didn't see that or if I didn't, whatever. Um, if you know, if you've used a sulfate-free shampoo before, you'll know that like it doesn't usually get a really great lather. This stuff. It has the thickest, nicest lather of any shampoo I think I've ever used. Like, I really love it. Some people might be put off by the scent because it is like an herbally smell. It's rose, this one's rosemary mint, I think. I want to say the one I have in the shower is rosemary and juniper. Yeah, it smells a little bit different th than this one. Um, but I like it. it does, it's not a real heavy smell and... Your hair doesn't really smell that much like it after you shower, but it's not an offensive smell, at least in my opinion. So I like that. And the last hair products I have, um, they're new from Herbal Essences, and they have a new line called Tossle Me Softly, and it's for curly hair or to get kind of like a beachy wave kind of look. And most of you know that my hair is naturally curly, even though I never wear my hair curly. These two products, they come in, I think they have six products. I have five of the six products in the Toss Me Softly line. Um, they have a shampoo and conditioner, obviously. And then this one is a spray gel that you put in when your hair is wet and then kind of scrunch your hair. This stuff is awesome and like, unlike most gels and stuff it doesn't leave your hair crunchy and hard you know how some curly hair those products they use will make it look like your hair is like wet this won't do that so this is really really good I'm not I'm not in love with the scent it's not a very strong scent but I prefer more fruity smells for shampoo um, but yeah spray gel works really well this though this is the standout product and it is finishing touch cream and this pot is huge it looks like this again not an amazing smell but it's not bad and you put this in I think you can put it in when your hair is almost dry and you just kind of pat it on and it gets rid of the frizz and defines the curls this means defines the curls anyway it defines the curls and then if like when you wear your hair curly you don't usually wash it as often at least I don't and most of the people I know who have curly hair don't um when you wake up in the morning if you use a little bit of this on it it'll like make your curls bouncy and defined again instead of like all messed up from sleeping on them so seriously like this stuff if you're gonna get one product that I mentioned of these two get this this is awesome 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 I can't say that enough times how incredible this product is um I might maybe tonight I don't know maybe tonight or this weekend I will use it and do a video with my hair curly so that you guys can see but I hate my hair curly anyway because it looks weird and it doesn't feel like me um, this one is a product I talked about already, but I just kind of wanted to mention it again because I love it so much. 
and it's the Best Bath Store Dead Sea Facial Scrub. And I love this. I love this. I think mine's almost gone. Um, I use this a few times a week. And it's really, really, it's a really good exfoliator. And it has, like, really fine salt in it. And, um, I think pumice. And all, it's all natural, organic. Not tested on animals. No animal products in it. So, it's great. You can read, read and know what every ingredient is that's on the label. Um. It doesn't have a very strong smell either. I mean, it's you're not going to be like, oh my god, this smells so amazing. But you're not going to be like, ew, this smells gross. It just, not a very strong smell, but it works really great. It makes your skin really smooth and glowy. And I think that it, I, I know it won't work for everyone, but it's definitely helped me with hormonal breakouts that I've had lately. The last one, this is going to be a weird thing for me to talk about, um, <laughs> because it's toothpaste, but I'm kind of obsessed with the flavor of this toothpaste. It's Crest Wintergreen Ice. It looks like this. It tastes and smells exactly like wintergreen, uh, winto green, I think it is, winto green, winter green, um, lifesavers, exactly like that. Yeah, it's awesome. And yes, I did buy it just for the taste. Um, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's the best tasting toothpaste ever. Um, I think that's all. Actually, <laughs> I was sitting here, and I've been sitting here for like the last hour, and I keep smelling something. I'm like, hmm, what is that? That smells good. And I realize it is deodorant and I bought this deodorant today it's spring breeze secret um, and it's my armpits that smell good it's weird it's not weird that my armpits smell good it's just weird that like I keep forgetting what the smell is um, ah, I don't know what that just was um yeah I'm out of things to talk about so I will talk to you guys later and I'll do a tutorial on this look soon so don't even ask because I know that since I didn't do a tutorial on this somebody is going to be like are you gonna do a tutorial <sighs> I'm sorry I don't mean to be a jerk um, I will talk to you guys later